If you remember one of the custom animations, the shorter can, this was meant to be a two hit combo. So here is the uppercut and the down smash. Right now we're just using the uppercut. So we've trimmed the animation. Today we're gonna to use the rest of the animation. And right now it seems like here is the end of the uppercut. We should have trimmed this a little more. So let me turn this down to 15. Let's see if that makes any difference. Make sure you apply. Okay. So even though we've trimmed the uppercut, the shuriken a little more, it still looks pretty much the same. Now I'm gonna divide this into two parts. I'll call it down smash one and down smash two. Make sure you also rename it in the animation tab. Apply. Okay, and since the uppercut ends at 15, the next move will start at 16. This is the hang time. So we don't need too many frames here. Maybe just up to 19. So this is when you're in the air, you'll make just a little bit of movement. I'm going to slow this down. And then as you hit the ground, starting from 20 to the end, somewhere around here. So that's the final part. And then after this, we go back to the idle motion. I'm going to go to Sophie's animator. Again, make sure you apply. And here's the shuriken. I'm going to drag in shuriken down smash one and two. And the condition for moving from shuriken to shuriken down smash is attack. We're going to use a combo. Let me set up the graph first. Okay, I'm going to slow this down, maybe 30%. Okay. And if we look at the attack ability for the Shuriken, attack, we have the combo section. For now, I'm going to be extremely generous with the combo timing, 0.1. 0.9, 10% and 90%, meaning if you press attack again within this time range of shuriken, you're going to move on to the next, next combo. So the condition is that attack is true. Let me check the other. Okay, if we're going back to the falling motion, Attack is false. And let me just test the first stage. So I'm going to press attack twice. We're moving to down smash one. If I just attack, if I just press attack once, we go back to the falling motion. If I want to turn this into a combo, press attack twice. Now we're in the smashing motion. And from the wind up to the actual smash, we want to set up the condition. Let me set up the graph again. Okay. I'm not going to use the exit time because this is going to be based on the variable, whether you're grounded or not. If grounded is true, then we go into the actual smash. And in order to detect whether the player is on the ground or not, we need a ground detector. 
ground detector where you're sure you can down I don't know what else to call it ground detector and I'm gonna give it a little rope a little leeway to detect ground early and then do the smashing motion because this animation takes a little time you might need to detect the ground slightly early so I set the distance to 0 0.2 maybe 0 0.25 Add the ground detector, and if I play, okay, let me try again from the upper deck this time. So you go into the smash motion. And then as you hit the ground, you do the actual smash. So transitions are working fine. Now we go back to idle. Exit time is turned on, meaning after the animation, we automatically go into idle. Okay, so let me play. Looks like the transitions are working fine. I need a bit of forward movement when we do the hang time smashing motion or the smash prep. Ground attacks, sure you can. So when you're in the air doing the down smash one, I'm gonna add some forward motion. Move forward, player, sure you can down, move forward. Speed three, block distance. I'll just try 0 0.1. It's going to be decreasing over time but not all the way to zero, maybe up to 80%. Something like this. Okay, lock direction. It's a constant, you don't need to be pressing anything. Okay, let me add this ability to smash down number one. And if I play, we should be moving forward when we do the smash, as you can see right there. I think it looks okay if I try from the platform. So we hold the motion, well, we hold the animation until we hit the ground. And then when we hit the ground, we do the smash. We might need some more time. 0.3. Okay, I think that looks a little better. Let me try again from the top. Looks all right. And obviously we don't have the register yet, but I think in this video we should be first just concerned about the transition itself. And to give it a little more hang time, I'm also gonna add a jump ability. Jump, player, sure you can, down, jump. Cancel pull, meaning longer press doesn't mean anything. Jump timing is zero, meaning you're gonna jump right on the start of the animation. Jump force, I'll try 100. And I'll put this in, play, see if we get a little extra hang time. Okay, that seems a little awkward. Oh, we added the wrong jump. We should add this jump, shuriken down. Make sure you differentiate shuriken versus shuriken down. 
looks like this is a little too much. I'll try 50. Okay, 50 seems a little better. So just a little extra hang time. Maybe could be even less, I'll try 40. Just a slight boost. Okay, looks all right. This transition feels like lag. Shorten the graph. Ground detector. Increase the distance. I want it to be slightly more fluid. Okay, now it looks like it's a little too early. Okay. I think I like the transition now. It's not perfect, but you just gotta keep polishing it. Okay, so here's a single press. I think that transition might be a little too quick. So to the fall, let me increase this slightly. Okay. So here's a single press. And then a double press. Now we just got to do the attack register. Inside the shuriken folder, I'm going to create the attack ability. Attack player shuriken down attack. I'm going to guess the numbers for now, 20%, 30%. And this is not going to be based on attacking body parts. We don't need to collide with the enemy, we just got to be in the lethal range. I'll try 0 0.5. Max hits, I'll try 3. Damage, I'll just try 3 for instant kill. No combos. No ragdoll death for now. Let me just try this out. Add attack to the down smash number two. Down attack. And play. Let's see if we can actually kill an enemy with this. Okay. Even though that was extremely old code, looks like it's still working. We might need to fix some lines. I haven't updated this for a while. As you can see, things are still kind of clunky, but I'm happy that the animation, I'm happy that the transitions are working. And I think I've already done enough for one video. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.